at the University of Hertfordshire. She also regularly attended church in Ilford. Police say they fear she may have come to harm. Sarah Harris reports. It all became too much for Carol Morgan in Stevenage Town Centre. It's seven weeks since her 21-year-old beloved daughter went missing and hope is fading. Joy Morgan was a focused and diligent midwifery student at Hertfordshire University, according to her tutors, but December the 27th was the last time anyone heard from her. I don't know where she is. I don't know. We are looking around. And I know that there are all the people. If I know my daughter's black, so I'll be able to see her. She was here. I don't know what to do. If somebody's holding her, please release her. If you know where she is, please, please just do it. She doesn't want to come back to her, and she can tell the police. But please do something. Please. Please. This is Joy enjoying a service at the church she attended regularly in Ilford. The police are keen to speak to anyone in the congregation there and this distinctive red and black Honda is also central to the investigation as the student was known to regularly get lifts in it. The longer time goes on, the more and more concerned that I get that something has come to amiss and to harm has come to her. Joy's a really private person, um, so if there's anybody that knows her that can help us to understand who she was, any new friend groups that we're not so far aware of, or anything else that could have been going on in her life, then we'd be really keen to hear about that. The Morgan family have been handing out leaflets in Stevenage Town Centre in the hope that anyone has seen her. Joy, who is described as around five foot five inches tall, slim and wears glasses and a scarf. Meanwhile, in the countryside, just a few miles away, the police are searching fields and woodland in the area where she was last known to have used her mobile phone. The police say they'll carry on until they've searched this entire area around Stevenage. They've asked for anyone who has any information to contact them. Sarah Harris, BBC London News, in Hertfordshire. A stretch of railway line between 